The expense form is a record of each time your business paid for something using anything other than a physical check. When you connect your bank and credit card accounts, QuickBooks helps you record expenses. But you can also record expenses manually from the Create menu. This is useful if you paid for inventory or don't have your accounts connected. The first thing to record is who you paid. You can leave this field blank, but it's a good habit to record who you pay, so you can run reports to see how much you've paid to different suppliers. The payment account is the bank account or credit card you use to make the purchase. Click the drop down arrow and choose from a bank or credit card account you've added. If you haven't set one up yet, select Add New. The payment date is simply the day you paid for something. The payment method is optional. Here is where you categorise what you paid for. Select a category that best describes what you paid for. For instance, if you paid a supplier to rent some equipment, use this equipment rental expense to categorise it. The description field is optional. You can also track costs for specific customers or projects and mark if they are billable. In the Customer field, select who you want the expense to apply to and check the Billable checkbox if you need to invoice your customers for this expense. Record the amount you paid here. Finally, add the applicable VAT. And at the bottom left, you can add an attachment. If you have a picture of a receipt, just drag and drop it in this box. And QuickBooks saves the attachment so you, and more importantly, your tax professional, can view the source document later. If this expense occurs regularly for the same amount, like monthly rent or insurance, click Enable Recurring Payments so QuickBooks enters it automatically for you. Once you've recorded all the information, save the expense. It's easier to connect your bank and credit cards and add expenses that way. But if you need to record a payment you made that wasn't a physical check, use the expense form.